friends, Robin here with Mattman and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to encourage, inspire, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes year round. Today is Friday, and in Texas, that means it's Friday night lights, and football season is in full swing. In some of these small towns, the entire town will go to the football game. And if it's an away game, it's a popular saying to say the last one out, turn off the lights. So it just has me in the sports mood, hence my referee shirt and my eye black and my alma mater earrings. I'm so excited for this fall season and it just made me want to do a football box. However, in the rest of the world, football means something completely different. And I have been binge watching the, um, over here on the TV, on Hulu, the new Wrexham um, documentary about two American actors who buy a, um, a soccer club in Wales and they're doing their best to turn it around. So I thought, what a better day than today to make a soccer box. I'm so excited about this box. I actually made two. They are pretty identical except for the color of the soccer box. The color and brand of the soccer ball itself are different. So since I already have this one packed here um, and I was able to see how it all fit in the box, I thought I would show you another packing video. So just to show you on this one, it is for a boy aged 10 to 14. So let's pack this together. I'm gonna set this here. The eye black is itching on my face, so if at some point during the video I just swipe mess across my face, be ready for that because it could happen. So I'm gonna start with a regular shoebox that was actually given to me by Matt's grandpa. It is a men's size 10, I think it's men's. Yes, a men's size 10. So it is a little bit wider than a um, standard Operation Christmas Child shoe box, but it is pretty much the same height. So these are actually smaller than the Ikea boxes, um, but it's still a little bit wider so that I can fit that fun soccer ball in there. So let's get started. Here it is, nice and empty. And the first thing I like to do when I use real shoe boxes, like um, from a closet, is to make sure that the box is sound and secure. So if you can tell, this one um, had a little rip in it right here. And so I just used some clear packing tape and reinforced that corner just so um, that the box stays nice and sound on its travels around the world to get to these boys who are going to get a soccer box. So let's start on the bottom. I like to put all the flat things that I can in the box. Um, it just, that's how I like to do it. Some people like to put the flat things on top and I get it because you can just really smush it down once you have the flat things. But for me, um, in my crazy packing world, it the flat goes on the bottom in my brain. So we're going to start with this Crayola coloring book. It is an Avengers coloring book. It does have some really cool Avengers stickers on it. I got this at clearance a um, Dollar General for I think like 75 or 80 cents. So we're gonna put that right here on the bottom. Next is this graph composition notebook. Um, this was contributed by Angie. So thank you so much, Angie. Let me show you what the inside looks like. It is full graph paper, and we learned from a missionary in Colombia, Kayla, um, that in at least the Southern America, that Southern America, South America, the whole continent, not the Southern part of the United States. Okay, moving on. That they use graph paper as their primary source of paper for school, so I'm including this, and I am praying that these boxes go somewhere south um, because it's just, it, it's set up perfect for um, a boy in that region. So 
Here is his composition notebook, and inside here, I have put this sheet of sports stickers and a sheet of music stickers and instructions for something that I will show you later in the box. And then I put them in there, and that is most all of his flat things. I'm also going to include this really fun bandana. I got this at Oriental Trading. Um, they were on sale. I think I paid something like 30 cents each for these really adorable, high quality sports bandanas. Now I saw on Facebook someone asked why I use bandanas. Um, when my box is clear, I use it as sort of like a wrapping paper, but these can be used for so many different things. And it's things that our American brain does not think about um, that a child in another country could utilize any form of fabric for a multitude of things. And so I like to put a bandana in there for function, but also because I like to make them as close to the theme as possible just to give a smile to that kiddo. So they could use this for what it's actually intended for to, you know, blow your nose, they could use it for a bandana, they could use it for um, carrying their soccer balls, they could use it as a um, comfort, like a night-night blanket, um, they could use it to wrap up their lunch and bring it like a little lunch kit. They do that in Japan all the time. Um, they could use it for helping mom in the kitchen as sort of like a hot pad. A million things that our brain doesn't think about because we have access to stuff so quickly and readily available at supermarkets and um, box stores like Walmart that maybe a kid that lives rural in a jungle wouldn't have access to a store to get something like this frequently. So that's why I like to include bandanas. Next, I'm really excited about this. I've been wanting to include this in a box for several years and had just been praying, and one day they were on clearance at Walmart for $2. But I have a set of goalie gloves here. Now, these are pretty big, but goalie gloves are supposed to be big so that your hands are bigger and you have more area to catch the ball. But that is why this box is exclusively a 10 to 14 year old. Um, I have little tiny baby hands for an adult, um, and a 10 year old boy's hands would be about this big. And I think that it would be just fine for these gloves and um, especially appropriate for a 14 year old. So they go right down here in the bottom and I'm gonna squish them as flat as I can. The next thing that is soccer related and this is so fun. This came from an anonymous donor and I'm so grateful that they sent this in are these penalty cards. So I don't know much about soccer, but I do know that when the referee calls a penalty, they're going to pull mostly a yellow card and sometimes a red card that gets you ejected from the game. But I have also included in this little kit came a whistle and this little, like a golf pencil. And when you open this folder up, inside is like a scorecard and a place where they can keep um, tabs on who has what penalty. So this I thought was a lot of fun to include as an extra for a soccer themed box. So we could have a soccer or a referee out of this, I mean a soccer, a goalie or a referee out of this box already so far. Next, I've included this bag that I actually picked up at Ikea. Um, it is a reusable bag, and when it is unfolded, it looks like a referee shirt, for sure. Matt was really excited when he saw this with me at Ikea, and he was like, that needs to go in a soccer box. So, I picked this up for his reusable bag. Now, let's see here. I have these other little things, but they kind of, they go in under the soccer ball. So, here is my soccer ball. This is, um, I have seen several different brands of soccer ball coming and going as I pack different boxes. This is my favorite one that I have seen so far. If you have the funds, this is the ball set that I recommend. It is a really nice quality Franklin, which is a top brand here. It is a size five ball. It folds down into nothing. And if I didn't have these goalie gloves, I could have fit this entire contents into a regular sized 
OCC box. So this would definitely fit inside an OCC box. Look how brightly colored it is. I wish you could feel the quality of this bulb. This will last a long time, but also it comes with its own pump. And this is the perfect size pump for packing in a shoe box. Um, when I held it, it's about the size of my fist. So just enough to be able to pump the ball up and it's not really long. It's not gonna take up the whole box and it comes as a set. It also comes with one um, needle up in the top here. It hides in the, the uh, arm of the pump, but I included some extra needles as well. I just rubber banded them to the pump, put the pump inside the ball and squished it down as small as I could. I highly recommend, this is linked below, as well as anything else that came from Amazon will be linked below for you if you want to include this ball. I believe when I received it, it was a set with both of these for $10, but it is definitely the best quality soccer ball I have ever seen in real life. So I'm pushing this down in the side and here's what the box looks like right now. We still have lots of room for lots of goodies. Okay, next is going to be um, a pair of underwear. Now, normally I roll these up and put them inside of some sort of bag so that the boy who receives it has a little bit of uh, privacy. It just didn't work out for this box, so I'm laying it flat and putting it down here on top of the goalie gloves. I also have included this pair of socks. They look a little small, but the size said large for boys, so um, I'm hoping that this fits this kiddo's feet. It's actually soccer, but I still think it's fun, and I picked a black and white pair to kind of go with the theme. And then next we have his pencil pack. So this pencil pack has packed with so much love. Dawn contributed the actual pack. Um, Sonia and Angie provided the four yellow pencils and the pencil top erasers. Um, and then Valerie provided the pins that are in here. And Lynette provided some of the little fun trinkets that I'm gonna show you because there are some extras. And um, Jessica from Foothills Family provided the crayons in here. So let me show you, um, you know what I forgot? I forgot to include colored pencils. And that's really important for teenagers because they need them for school, I believe. So I will go back and I'll put colored pencils in both of these boxes after the video. But the kind of fun things in here, I did include a calculator. I got these last year at Walmart um, after back to school clearance. There are a pair of scissors in here, a metal pencil sharpener, and three fun green soccer pencils. Um, these are also available right now at um, Walmart in a pack of like, I think you get like eight or something, um, different sports pencils. And, uh, and a ruler. Here we go, provided by Angie. So thank you so much for these fun things in this school pack. As I said, I'm going to go back and include some colored pencils. So, zoop, and I'm gonna stuff it right back here. Okay, we're on our way, it's getting full. I have this space right here where you can see my hand. And in that space, oop, Sorry, one more flat thing. I got these Valentines at after Valentine clearance and I am including them. They come with these little window clings. There are four in here. There is a soccer, a basketball, a football, and a volleyball one. But I also included this little do not eat sign um, for the kiddo so they, not, they know not to eat it and for the distribution center so they know this is not uh, candy. I'm gonna put that down here in the bottom next to those penalty cards that we have. Here is the big thing that's gonna go right here. And it is his cup and his shirt. So let me pull this out for you and I will show you. This is how I have it packed, nice and rolled up. 
Um, I got this at Walmart on clearance for $1. I was so excited to get it. It's one of those really nice, like a rash guard material, the kind of material that um, repels the sun. And it is long sleeve and it's, it is a very fun soccer box. I've seen a few other people be able to put these in their soccer boxes as well, but I just thought it was so much fun. It is a size extra large 14, 16, and it says, bring your game, awesome, every play, all talent, all day. Um, and it's just a fun soccer shirt for this little boy. Let's set this over here. No, I can't. I try. I try to lay it out pretty. I'm just not good at it. And then stuffed down in the bottom of his cup are some goodies. So first of all, the cup itself, I got this at Party City for 98 cents, I want to say. And it is definitely a, a soccer cup. It's a green and black and white and just has all kinds of soccer sayings on it. So that's where I picked up the cup. I have this set of dinosaurs contributed from Tracy just to give him some extra play if he is in the 10 year old range or for decoration if he's in the 14 year old range. Um, also this little set of school manipulatives. They're like a connecting puzzle blocks. So those go down in the bottom. Also Lynette sent me these really cute um, soccer rings. So he's getting a green soccer ring to go with his soccer necklace that I purchased at Oriental Trading. Um, I know I said that I would link the Amazon stuff, but if I ha can find it elsewhere like these at Oriental Trading, I'll also link them below for you. And then the things I like to put in every box is this cross. I get these at Hobby Lobby. They are Playside Creation Crosses. You get a pack of 50 for around $4. And then these Google Eyes, I just think they're so much fun to play with at any age. I mean, I, I could sit and play with these for quite a while. And then two cars he does have, and they have the same exact cars, which I was really excited to find in my stash. Um, and they kind of go with the theme of his shirt and the soccer ball. So this first one is just a black car with some blue and red writing on the side, and it does have like a convertible top there. So really cute. And then this one is just like a fun green sporty car. So those are the things that went down in the bottom of his cup. And then off camera, I will roll this back up and shove it in the cup. And it takes up this whole section right here. So that is where the shirt is. And we just give it a little smush and it goes in there. I also have a stuffy for this 10 to 14 year old boy. Um, I was I was considering not putting it in there, but I thought, you know what? Everybody needs something soft in their box. So here is this really cute rabbit that I got actually from Dollar Tree at Easter time. And he's holding his own little soccer ball. So I did pick up two of these and I've included one in this box and this box. And I just think, even though it is a cutesy um, stuffed animal that the soccer ball gives it a little bit more credit, credit, credibility, yes. So I'm gonna shove that down right here and he is poking up a little bit, but the box will let him squish. Next is his hygiene kit um, that I have put in this really thick reusable um, Ziploc baggie for him. Here is his soap in the original container. I got these at Dollar General. Here is a spoon here. This came from Ikea. I threw in a couple of band-aids. This black comb is from Kit Nicole on Amazon. Thank you so much. This white thing right here, this is actually a face mask just in case he still needs one in his country. On this side, the back right here, this is actually a washcloth. It's those really soft ones that you can get on Amazon. This was contributed by Valerie, so thank you so much. This is a toothbrush that I like to get in a pack of um, two in the travel section, and it comes with a cap, um, and it's two for one dollar, or you can get them in the regular toothbrush se section six 
toothbrushes, and five caps for, I wanna say $5, something like that. Three or four around there. He also has a green chapstick and a um, set of nail clippers, a nail file, and some safety pins. And that is what I have included in his little hygiene pack. And that's gonna go right down on top of the rabbit to just kind of help squish him down there. I think I'm gonna turn it around because the soap is a little thicker. Perfect. And then the rest of the cubbies holes are going to be filled with some extra little goodies. First is this, I love this. This is an amazing top that was sent to us by that missionary that I mentioned earlier from Kayla. They sent this all the way from Columbia and they um, wanted theirs to go into a soccer box that they sent items for. So I decided that two of the other ones they sent needed to go in a soccer box for a boy 10 to 14 as well. So I put that down in here. I also have my favorite crank flashlight that I like to include. You don't need any batteries or solar power. You just give it a crank and the lights work. Um, and this was contributed to us from Valerie. So thank you so much. It's going in the box, going to this little boy, hopefully somewhere in South America is what I'm praying for. And this little squish ball, boop. Um, it's a really fun, just soccer stress ball. And I got this in the dollar section at Walmart. And then the last few things that I'm going to put down in the box this is actually a um, mouth guard and it is Adidas brand. I got this on clearance at Walmart. A viewer told me that they don't really use mouth guards in soccer, that it's a primarily like a rugby and football um, needed item, but I still bought it for this box and so I'm going to go ahead and include it because I have it and he can still use it for other sports. And it fits right down here in this little section where the, the soccer ball is kind of angled and then the last thing i'm going to include is this deck of cards from denise so it is a very stuffed box and once i have his shirt all wrapped up and add the pen the um, colored pencils that i forgot to put in here it's nice and squished and i will also include the letter from him from us to him just letting us know how much we love him that God loves him and Jesus loves him and that you helped pack all of these great things. I will also include, just like I did on this one, the label that says it is for a boy age 10 to 14 and send it in with a big rubber band. That is all for today, friends. I hope that you are out there enjoying all of the fall activities and all of the fall sports in your area. I know here in Texas, it's a very much Friday night lights. I feel like I wanna eat a Frito pie and go cheer on my team. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. And in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye. <laughs>